Thank you for tuning in to True Buds TV. It's your buddy Jack here showing you how to make a small batch of cannabis infused coconut oil with less smell. The first thing you're going to need is your organic unrefined coconut oil. Then an eighth of some good weed. This is a nice sativa, your crock pot, a mason jar to put it in, something to decarb it in, your cheesecloth to strain it through, and last but certainly not least, your T-Check 2 device to check the potency. So you're gonna grind it down. I don't like grinding it all the way through. I like to keep it a little thicker. That's why I kind of dump it out. Some will go through and I'll dump that out as well. We'll put it in the oven around 240 degrees for about 35 minutes. I took this one out about 33 minutes in, just a couple minutes early because it was ready to go. I could tell. We're gonna put the crock pot on high. And what we have here is about three quarters of a cup of coconut oil. We're gonna go ahead and put this coconut oil, or about half of it in the mason jar. We're going to then go ahead and add our decarbed, beautiful golden brown eighth to the coconut oil. And then we will top it with the rest of the coconut oil. After this, we will tightly seal the lid, place it in the crock pot, and then fill the crock pot with water. This water helps it to cook. This is necessary, like it creates a double broiler. You can do the same method on the stove top. I will say, honestly, this decarbing just of an eighth, I usually decarb way more, didn't smell too much. And the jar is gonna hold in all that smell while it's slow cooking. So I'll put it on high for about two to three hours, grabbing it and shaking it around, or you know, you could say stirring it every hour, getting that nice mixture there. I will then turn it to low and let it go low and slow for about four hours. I think this is a key. I'll even let it sit overnight sometimes. But here, I did about seven hours total, and we're about to see the final potency of this cannabis oil. You're gonna go ahead, put it on the strainer. I highly recommend the cheesecloth to bring out any impurities. I'm very excited to test this oil. This bud here was a nice sativa, very light green in color. A lot of the other batches have been with trim and shake, so they turn out a lot darker. So I'm excited to see what the T-Check says the potency is here. I like using the gloves to get everything out. Every last drop counts, especially when it's potent and especially when it's a small batch. Turn on our T-Check device, run test. Make sure you have your Bluetooth enabled so you can connect your device properly. In a moment, you will see T-Check 2 device. We'll click that to connect to it. It is now connecting. We're gonna test our flour-based infusion, our coconut oil. We're gonna change the temp today because it's at about 100 degrees. I waited a little while for it to cool down and 100 is the hottest you wanna go for sure. Let's run the test. Let's go ahead and take our dropper. We're going to fill the slide with four to five drops or so. You wanna make sure it's full but not overflowing because we're then going to take this other side and press it on, which will sandwich it out a little bit. Meanwhile, the device is calibrating here, and while we're waiting for that, I'll just say, if you're feeling this T-Check 2 and you want to grab one, use code TRUEBUDS25 to swoop it up. The link below, just click that, put the code in, and you'll grab one of these. This is the second video I'm using this thing, and I was dying to make this video. Like, I'm really feeling the T-Check 2. I think it's a great idea for anybody who likes to make their own edibles and have a more accurate reading of what the THC content is. Okay. Let's go ahead and insert the tray. We're gonna hit okay. And now, testing the infusion. The most exciting part, we sit here and wait a moment and wonder, how strong is it gonna be? Like I said, the bud was a nice sativa today. It was just a nice light green, so the oil just has a nice color to it. it looks like a olive oil. So I'm interested to see what the potency will be. The T-Check is versatile and offers many different readings. Um, the first one that was gonna pop up here is gonna be milliliters, and then we can change it so that's 5.8 milligrams per milliliter. Cool, I like putting it into tablespoons or teaspoons because that's usually how I'm using my coconut oil in a nice smoothie or something like that. 86.2 per tablespoon. Not bad for this small batch, 28.7 milligrams per teaspoon. Cool little small batch here. So. All I did really was that three quarters cup of 
organic coconut oil, unrefined, and then we just added that eighth of some good bud in there, and it turned out to be a pretty potent batch. Thanks again to my friends at Tea Check, and thank you for hanging out. If you're feeling the Tea Check too, just click the link below, use coupon code TRUEBUDS25. That's T R U E B U D S 25 to grab your Tea Check too and make some potent edibles with me. I'll catch you on the next video where we're doing cannabis infused olive oil testing it, of course, with a T-Check 2.